Hi, my name is Sam, and I'm a four-year student at UW-Madison. Hi, my name is Caitlin Rasmussen. I'm a two-year nursing student at Madison Area Technical College. I recently decided to major in nursing and pursue a double major in Arabic as well um, and possibly receive a certificate in gender and women's studies. With the election and everything and I guess the threat to women's health, I decided what better way to advocate for that than to become educated in a field like that and then to use that skill to then help other women, I guess. I decided to go to MATC because I wanted a two-year program. It was kind of like a plan B because I went to UW Eau Claire for two years and it didn't work out because it was too competitive. This is a really rough program. A lot of work has to go into it. So we tell students if you're going into the program, you probably shouldn't be working full-time or part-time and if you are working part-time, only a handful of hours here and there. I think my grades probably reflect on everything that I'm committed to just because I have a final Thursday and I'm here and I'm tired and I'm sick so realistically I'm probably not going to study very much tonight because of everything else I have to do. I'd say anywhere between four and six hours a day on homework. It's a lot more time that is required than I thought it was going to be. So this is my typical walk. I enjoy walking in the mornings, even though it's cold sometimes, because it kind of wakes me up, gives me a chance to debrief and relax in a way. I feel like I'm kind of wore out and I'm sick of feeling stressed about studying, but uh, my goal is to just keep on, keep on. Expensive to live on your own in an apartment in Madison. Dorm life is, I mean, it's sharing a room with someone. You're sharing your space with someone. It's nice having my own space when you're with people all day long for work or the gym or school. And you get to come home to nobody except your dog. That's really nice. I don't like how cluttered it feels. And I just feel like I never have anywhere to put anything. All of my food is in with my clothes, and I don't like that at all. So it's been two and a half minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna have 28 more to go. I started bodybuilding when I started really getting into working out. What it is is they just kind of judge your figure, the symmetry of your muscles and your posing, which sounds kind of taboo to a lot of people, but. I like it. It's kind of like my sport. I was always in sports in high school and it's kind of like a sport for me. Exercising is a big stress relief for me. I try to spend at least 30 minutes a night working out. Um, usually that just consists of running on the elliptical. I've dedicated a lot of time to this sport. A lot of time. Like an hour a day since November. Spent a lot of time meal prepping. I eat the same thing every day. Oatmeal, blueberries, eggs for breakfast chicken, green beans, and potatoes for four other meals, and then Greek yogurt. Plain, not even vanilla. Lately, I've been forgetting to eat just because of how busy I am, but typically I'll eat meals in the dining hall that's right across the street, um, or I have some like canned food here. All I want is cheese curds or pizza or chocolate or something. I just kind of want to get fat, but I don't want to get fat because I won't have to get skinny again, you know? Wanted to quit a lot too. My legs hurt so bad from my workout on Sunday. It hurts to sit on the toilet. Yeah, I haven't got I haven't given up. It's kinda like that one thing in my life I feel I have a little bit of control over. It feels like I'm living like three different lives. <laughs> 
it's really hard to balance things. I feel like every week I'm figuring out how to balance everything a little bit better. I'm sure if I wasn't doing this, I'd be doing something else that would be keeping me busy. I do a two-year program over a four-year program because I can start doing what I've been wanting to do and not have to go to school longer. At the time in my life, I think coming to Madison was the best choice for me. Maybe not financially, but definitely in all other aspects.